What's up guys, this is Stefan here from App Stuff, and welcome to my Swift UI Bootcamp where you guys are gonna be learning how to build amazing iOS applications using this awesome new framework developed by Apple called Swift UI. So in this video, I want us to touch on a couple different things before we get started coding. I'm gonna to talk to you guys a little bit about what Swift UI is and why it's important to learn. We're also gonna go over very briefly what we're gonna be learning in this course, and then we're gonna talk about the tools that you guys need to get started with developing iOS apps with Swift UI. Before we get started with that, I do wanna give you guys a brief introduction about myself so you know exactly who you're learning from. So, like I said before, my name's Stefan, I'm the owner here at AppStuff, and I've been a professional iOS engineer for six years now, and I currently work at Facebook, or Meta as it's now known. I've also been teaching online for four years, where I've taught tens of thousands of students worldwide and helped multiple people get jobs at top tech companies. I'm also 100% self-taught, so I know exactly what it takes to go from knowing absolutely nothing about code to making it to the top 1% of the field, working for a top tech company like Facebook. And I'm here to help you guys along your coding journey, whatever your goals might be. So let's talk a little bit more about what SwiftUI is and why it's important to learn. So like I said before, SwiftUI is this awesome new framework that's been developed by Apple that makes developing user interfaces for iOS apps extremely easy, lightweight, and fast. So I've been throwing around this term user interface a lot and that's what the term UI in Swift UI stands for, user interface. So what is a user interface? It's anything that you're gonna see on the app screen. Pictures, backgrounds, colors, texts, all that stuff is what's referred to as the user interface and Swift UI makes building those user interfaces extremely easy. So it's actually so easy to use that you guys aren't gonna need any prior experience with how to program or how to code to get started with this bootcamp and start building iOS applications. So why is this important to learn? A lot of people are saying that SwiftUI is the future of iOS app development. And there have been previous frameworks that Apple has used in the past, and SwiftUI is just the new and improved version that's gonna make building UIs a lot easier and a lot faster than the previous iteration. So it's on the cutting edge of technology here, guys, and that's why it's important for you to learn. So to wrap this video up, we're gonna talk a little bit about what we're gonna be learning in this course, and then to finish it off, we are going to talk about the tools that you guys are gonna to need to download to get started with coding and actually start this bootcamp. So make sure you stick around to the end. Also make sure you guys smash that like and subscribe button if you like the content and want more of this to come your way. So we're gonna be starting with the absolute basics, guys. Something as simple as how to display a text or an image on the screen. And then we're gonna work our way up through the fundamentals and slowly start bringing everything together so that we can display more complex user interfaces like you would see in something like Twitter, Instagram, or even Spotify. All things we're gonna be going over how to build in this course. It's gonna be a lot of fun. And to wrap it up, we're gonna build a real life iOS application that involves fetching some data from the internet and displaying it on the screen. So it's gonna be a lot of fun. Now, let's go ahead and talk about the tools we're gonna to need to get started with this bootcamp. So first thing you're gonna need is an Apple computer. It could be an iMac, a MacBook, a MacBook Pro, a MacBook Air, it doesn't matter. You just need some sort of Apple computer. The next thing we're gonna need is an app called Xcode. Now this app is what we're gonna be using to write all of our code and build all of our iOS apps. That is the main tool that iOS developers use to build iOS applications. So this app is available to us for free in the Mac App Store, and we're gonna be going over how to download it and how to navigate through it right now. So make sure you stick around, and then we're gonna be getting started with the code in the next video, so get excited for that, guys. Let's go over how to download Xcode now. So you guys are gonna to wanna to go ahead and get the Mac App Store opened up on your computer. And we're just gonna go up to the top here where it says search and you're gonna just type in Xcode. And it's gonna be this guy that comes up right here, the little app icon with the hammer. And you can just click on that. And this gives you some information about what Xcode is. Like I said before, this is where we're gonna be writing all of our code and this is the tool that we use to develop our applications. So I already have this downloaded obviously, but you guys are gonna click install. It does take a bit of time to download. It's a pretty big file. So go ahead and pause the video while that downloads. And once you guys have it downloaded, just come back to the video and I'm gonna give you a quick introduction about how Xcode works before we get started coding. So once you guys have that downloaded, go ahead and get 
get it opened up. If you can't find it for some reason, I like to just hit command space to open up my spotlight search and you can just type out Xcode and you should be able to get it opened up there. But we should see this welcome to Xcode window. You can just hit create a new Xcode project and you're going to get presented with this screen here. It's gonna ask you what type of app you wanna create or project. Just go ahead and make sure the iOS tab is selected up here and then select this app option, hit next. We're gonna call this like bootcamp or something, Swift UI bootcamp, bootcamp, whatever you guys wanna call it. Then hit create and then it should create your Xcode project for you. And we're just gonna go through a brief introduction of how Xcode works before we actually get started with the code. So first off, you guys are probably gonna wonder how I have this really cool dark mode showing up. You guys probably have a white screen in front of you. So if you want this dark mode or a different color scheme, first off, you can go up to Xcode, select preferences, and then go to themes right here in the option list. And you can select from a bunch of different themes, as you can see here. I have mine on presentation dark to make this code easier for you guys to see. So we can just go ahead and close out of this guys and let's just talk a little bit about what's going on here in Xcode so you guys aren't totally lost. So on the left side here, you're gonna see this menu bar and this is what's known as our project navigator. So this is where all of the files are going to exist for our application or our project. This is where we're gonna create new files, create folders and all that stuff so we can easily navigate through all the different files of our project. Then this stuff here you see is obviously the code. So this is the code for what our app would currently look like. And if you guys wanna see what the app currently looks like, we're gonna go over to this like grayed out area here and you can just hit resume. And this is going to generate what's known as an app preview. So this is a feature that's unique to Swift UI and it allows you to see exactly what your app is gonna look like without having to actually run the application. So that's pretty cool, right? This is an actual preview of what our app would currently look like. And this file over here, the content view, is connected to this preview in that this is the code that's responsible for generating this app preview right now. So if you guys want to change your preview device, uh, I believe you probably have like an iPod touch right now or something. You can go up to the top here where you see this device name, you can click on it and it gives you this list of options that you can select from between all these iOS simulators to view your app preview on. You have iPods, iPhones, iPods, and all of that stuff. I typically work with like an iPhone 12 Pro and that's just how you can change the preview device, guys. Now, really quickly, let's talk about what I meant when I said actually running the application. So this is just a preview. If you wanna run the application on a physical simulator, you just go up to the top here in your project navigator and you can hit the play button and it will actually launch this app on what's called the iOS simulator. So we can see here that we got that build succeeded notification. That means that our code successfully built or compiled. And then we are going to see this app open up on an actual iPhone device, which is a lot more similar to you actually running it on your phone. So we have it up and running here. This is the iPhone 12 Pro simulator. Once again, this is what your app would actually look like on a physical device. It looks exactly the same as we see in the preview, but the nice part about the preview, like I said, guys, is we don't have to physically run the app every time we want to see our changes. So that's gonna wrap it up for this brief Xcode introduction, guys. In the next video, we're gonna get started with some code, so get excited for that. We'll see you guys there. Peace.